Hello, my name is Griffin Kemp. In March of 2020, Cal Poly Athletics was forced to shut down due to the COVID-19 outbreak. The football team was preparing to go into their spring camp before the Cal Poly campus was shut down and off-season team activities were canceled for the foreseeable future. As a former member of the football team, I sat down with junior linebacker Aaron Cooper and junior defensive lineman Kane Sua for an open conversation to reflect and share our experience being on the Cal Poly football team during the 2020 and 2021 football season. Tell me how your guys' emotions and mental state was like during that point. I mean, yeah, it was just, it was just kind of crazy, you know? Just, I remember being in class and getting the announcement, like, hey, uh, there's an outbreak, you know, probably gonna have no school for two weeks. And then, boom, next thing you know, we're shut down for eight, nine months, you know? Being mm -hmm. pretty crazy. I mean, the beginning of quarantine was, was actually nuts. It looked like a zombie apocalypse. Nobody was going outside. Yeah, we were all trapped in the house. It was just it was just weird, man. So, And this is when you got sent. This is being back home after everyone got sent home? Yeah, well, I stayed out here the whole quarantine just because, like, I didn't know if I had it. And I was scared to spread it to my family because my little sister is, like, asthmatic and she's at risk for it. So, you know, I just kind of right. played it safe and stayed out here. So I didn't end up seeing my parents for, like, a good, like, like four or five months oh really yeah there was like a lot of uncertainty like yeah definitely. i remember going back home to vegas and uh with me it's like back home in vegas i had my mom uh my youngest brother and my and my youngest sister living with her still and then i had two other brothers who lived in utah yeah so we all came home during that time and i remember it, was, it didn't seem as bad for me because I was around family and it yeah. kind of just felt like, oh, it's like one of the holidays. You know, you come home and hang out for a little bit. So I think that helped me to not feel overwhelmed and to not kind of get too in, into my own head, freaking out, like what's going to happen, the uncertainty. No, nah, yeah, definitely I feel that. I mean, it was just, yeah, I kind of wanted to go home, but at, at, at one point in COVID, it was just like people were running out like food, like toilet paper. Yeah, like, bro, it was wild, bro. Yeah. Like, it was crazy. Cause like the that whole thing with like the toilet paper and stuff, bro. Like people were really just running up in the stores, grabbing all the groceries and stuff, bro. Like it was a crazy time, bro. bro. Like that was just a, a, like I don't know. It was crazy, and like we didn't know we would play football, which is like a minor thing, but like you know, it's just it was just a weird time. That's like, it's like we were living in like stuff you read about, you know. That, yeah, that was the crazy part too. Was that. Throughout all this, football really did become not so much a top yeah. priority. Though, yeah. I can speak only for myself. When I went back home, uh, you obviously, you know, we were sent home with training programs and we were told to find any way to work out, even though the gyms are closed. There's no weight. No one has, you know, not a lot of people have that equipment just sitting around. Yeah. So I remember having to find uh, any kind of means to work out. I'd go out to my old high school. Their, their gym, uh, weight room was was not open so I had to just go run on the track run the hill I'd hit up friends and uh, neighbors who had uh, lifting equipment I'd go and lift in their garage you know so it was really uncertain so like how did you guys handle that when whether you were here or back home uh, when it came to just still working out and staying active oh yeah that was that was one of the craziest parts of COVID I feel just because like every you know I feel like in life when people like are affected by certain things like it's not a lot of people you know what I'm saying and like COVID was everybody was affected. Like yeah. nobody was lifting, nobody could do anything. So it was kind of cool to see like people were like still getting out working, like lifting suitcases full of books or like the, I remember Creative one day of COVID, yeah. like uh, we were bored, dude. We were just like pushing, pushing up couches and stuff like that. Like just trying to find a way just to get like some type of exercise in. Mm -hmm. And then it got to a little bit of a point where like, uh, like some of the local gyms were renting out weights. Right. So we like me and, uh, me, Sue, and Joey, like, rent out weights for a little bit and create, like, the boneyard is what we call it now. It's, it's our little outdoor, like, backyard gym facility. And that's that's really how we got through uh, all of COVID, like, lifting. We were, you know, fortunate enough to find a bench press and find weights, and we just got whatever working we could. Yeah, yeah. yeah bro, and, like, back home, we, uh, like, it was easy for me because, like, back home, like, me and all my brothers work out and my dad works this house. So, like, that was, like, we would do, like, like penitentiary workouts in our house like just a bunch of burpees and like running up the stairs and push-ups and sit-ups and stuff but then like um when stuff started getting like more open like a month into quarantine we got a some dude was selling his weights for a good price so we just picked that up it wasn't that much weight but like we were able to lift some 
And that was just for, like, the early parts when I was back home. So that was, like, I don't know. I feel like having my family around made it easier for me to stay active and stuff. Because, like, my little brothers are really active. And mm-hmm. I'm not, you know, I'm a bigger person. So yeah, I had to whole, keep up with them, yeah. Yeah, your whole family is athletes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah definitely. That's a benefit. Um, it's kind of like fast forward a little bit during the summer. You know, we all come back. We get the clear. We start doing team activities. Uh, I remember that time feeling a little bit better. I felt, okay, finally I get to come back. I definitely felt like I got, being back home, even though I tried to stay as active as possible, I kind of, you know, got out of shape. So it was a really great thing to get back with the team. How did it kind of feel to you guys to be back, be with the coaches, even though we had so many restrictions, we had the masks, we had to get tested, we had to get the temperatures every time we walked into the building. What was the, what did it feel like overall to y'all? It was cool to me, like, coming when we first got back, because, like, you know, like, getting to see my boys, my teammates and stuff, like, that was great, and just being able to work out in, like, a facility with my team, that was cool, like, just all that. We didn't really get to see the coaches much during that time, but, like, uh, we had Zoom meetings with them, so, Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I don't know, to me, it kind of felt like we never really got to, like, meet face-to-face with the coaches, so that was kind of weird, but... Other than that, like, I feel like we did the best with what we could, I guess. Because, like, all the procedures and the protocols we had to go through just to, like, get to practice and stuff. Like, to me, that was just, like, the necessary things you got to go through to go to to go play ball. You know what I mean? So, it was just whatever I mean. But, right. Yeah. We I feel like we all had that mindset of just whatever was given to us, whatever task, get tested twice, three, four times a day or whatever. I feel like everyone would have been on board, especially when we had, you know, kind of the, I don't know about y'all, but it kind of made me feel a little bit more excited to play once the the, the possibility of what was going to happen with the new coaching staff with Coach Baldwin and his staff and the new change of scheme. I was very excited. I thought, you know, if I could just, if I, if we could just get through this stuff that requesting us to do, we're going to have a great season. We're going to have fun. But like, what was it? I don't know. What about you, Coop? Like, how did you feel? Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that first workout getting back in the summer, it just felt great, you know, because those are guys we hadn't seen since like, it was only like what four or five months, but it felt like years, you know. Yeah, we we really had to see each other, been in contact. So, just being able to get back in person and even like wearing the mask or whatever protocols we had to go through, it just kind of felt good to kind of get back to some level of normal. Just because I know like those have been like a wild couple months, so like a lot of people's head spaces were in the right place, and like just life just it, it was it was crazy. It was all over the place. So to kind of like get back to like a home base and like touch ground again with like your peers and like Sula said like your closest homies like people that you interact with every day it was it was real cool to be back there you know lifting through summer like you said like I was excited also like whatever we had to do to play football you know I was kind of on board and willing to do what did you I don't know for me what I kind of was thought was strange when we were going through the quarantine and then even in the summer when we were working I always thought it was kind of it was strange and interesting that despite all the crazy stuff that was going on, a pandemic that the world's never seen before, no one's ever dealt with something like this before, we still had such a such a drive to play football. The whole coaching staff, you could see it with the coaching staff, they had a drive to get to the season. We had a drive to get to the season. Uh, I'm sure the athletic department was fighting hard to get us there. At that, that, and I know they were, because look at all the protocols they were giving us. They, they were doing whatever it took to make it so we could be approved to play that season. So, I don't know, for me, it felt so strange, but I think it was because football just felt like that was getting close to, you know, normalcy yeah. and also having the chance to play under these new coaches. And we hadn't played since the fall, that previous fall season got yeah. canceled. How do you guys feel about what, what, how did, did, was football a big drive for you guys? And what, how is it for your mental state for it? I mean, yeah, football just kind of felt like that last bit of hope, you know like in COVID because COVID like it looked like it was going on, going on forever you know like not too many people knew what was going to happen all the predictions were coming out like we might be in this thing for a couple of years so just like just seeing the push we were having to like get a season it just kind of seemed like the last hope and you know everybody was like going to give it their all to like get that push so we could play and then we started getting like we started progressing we started progressing and then something will happen we would have to fall back a little bit but we you know it always it always was a constant push to get towards season mm-hmm. which was good for us Right. Yeah, like, 
you know, like, all this, like, there, there was a period where, like, all this stuff with, like, COVID, like, we didn't know if it was going to get worse for us, if it was going to get, if we were going to, like, get better from it, but, um, like, having football and, like, being able to work out every day and, like, having some type of set schedule besides school was, like, nice, you know, like, it was just, like, a little get like, it made it feel almost, like, normal, if yeah. that makes sense. We were, yeah, it was, and I think that, even not even just playing, but the actual drive, going to the morning workouts, staying on uh, strict regimens for all of us, I think that I felt a benefit from it because I thought if I wasn't doing this, if I wasn't working hard to try and play this season, I would probably be too overwhelmed with what's going on in the world. I'd be too worried about how long we're going to be in this pandemic, how are things going to get worse or better. I wouldn't be, I'd feel like I wouldn't have been as productive. So I think maybe we kind of, I don't know, I feel like we benefited from that. Just having that goal and working together as a team to try and get to that point. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I agree with it. It's just, you know, I feel like, you know, because when the pandemic hit, fe- hit February, right? March. Yeah. That, so like, March and April, you could you could kind of see, like, or, like, speak personally, like, I kind of, like, I didn't lose myself, but I kind of, like, lost a lot of focus just in life, you know, in general. Yeah, and then football, like, you know, hearing the announcement, like, we're going to work out, we're going to do whatever we can, kind of, like, it was good, like, it brought me back to, like, reality, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, when everything was just so stressful and just so hard and you start to lose focus, you kind of just have that one, not solid goal, but something that pulls you back into, like, you know, reality and, like, real life. So, mm-hmm. it was just really cool to have, like, football come back and, you know, whatever it did for us, it did for us. But it just, I just thought it was positive as well. Yeah. Yeah. It was definitely positive and negatives. But, yeah, I think uh, football was solid. Yeah. You, huh? you feel like there are some negatives, too, with – uh kind of us being so active and involved or you, uh, what do you feel about that? No, I just went on the, the pandemic in general. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, I think a really touchy subject that I think would be fun, I kind of wanted to see your guys' opinion on. Obviously, we know that the mask thing has been something of like a really controversial topic. You've seen so many videos of people complaining that they had to wear the mask to go into grocery stores and you see people making these huge big scenes. And but yet, and these are adults too. You know, it's not just teenagers; it's it's grown adults having to are having these issues. But then you kind of turn and you look at the athletes here, whether it's football. You know, you know, we're all football players, so we're going to specifically focus on that. You got us wearing the masks to go out and wait, lift weights at six in the morning. You got guys wearing the masks running sprints down the practice field. What, uh, if anything, like do you feel? that the mask thing, as controversial as it was, you kind of think people could see, not not even specifically this team, but like teams across the country who were dealing with this and wearing this, doing what they had to do to play, that could kind of be seen as like, this is how Matt, like if you want to see how hard it is to wear the mask, go look at athletes. Yeah. How do you guys feel about that? I mean, yeah, the mask mandate definitely had a lot of controversy and it was just, uh, just speaking like from my perspective, it was kind of frustrating, you know, I'm not I'm not a big political guy, just but just seeing all the people like, you know, complaining about wearing masks in grocery stores and, you know, we had we were running sprints and those little blue paper masks, you know? Yeah. And you're suffocating in a way, you know. So I mean, I never really got into it too much. I was just, you know, kinda always just focused on football being the end goal, but now reflecting back on it, it was definitely like frustrating to see people complain about yeah. wearing a mask and we were trying to preserve our season through mask in a sense, you know what I'm saying? Like we were doing everything with a mask, which made not only workouts 10 times harder, but just, you know, overall, like the, the camaraderie, the, the, the lifts, everything just, it, it never felt the same through a mask, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Like it was, um, yeah. Like people were like complaining about how like it, it ruins their ability to breathe, but we're out here trying to play football and do like all this active stuff wearing the mask and like yeah we like you people complain but like we still did it and we were, like we survived through it i don't know and it I, was crazy yeah and i think people can look i don't know how it could be related or what how it could ever come to be like this but people are saying we you know they put out the mandate for the masks they're saying you know we got to wear these masks the sooner everyone starts following these protocols the better you know the sooner we're going to get out of this and I think they can look at sports teams and say, look at these guys, look at these girls, look at these people wearing these masks, doing extremely hard workouts just for one common goal is to play their seasons. And 
you know, it's interesting that a group of athletes, and all these teams can do that, but you can't get the public to kind of see that same, have that same uh, way of thinking. Yeah. They just can't. They, I think it, there's a lot to learn by watching, especially on the collegiate level, where especially the D1 collegiate level, and even JUCOs and D3s and D2s, you see these teams, that's the way there's a lot to learn from these people, from yeah. these athletes who work so hard for a common goal together. Um, I think final question for you guys, uh, final topic, just now that we've been through it, you know, you guys, oh, and obviously we'll have another one after this about the season too. I want to see your guys' thoughts on that. But um, in fact, we'll do that first. You guys played the three games. Everyone, you know, everyone was working so hard to get to that point. And I could tell week the week before when I was doing stories with some of the guys on the team, I could just feel the excitement. By this time, I had already retired, so I wasn't, you know, I, I even felt the excitement, though. I was, I could not wait to go out there and see you guys ball. Couldn't wait to see the team active, see how everyone looked under Baldwin's uh, new schemes. So, what, but like, obviously the season didn't go as planned just because of injuries and people having to opt out, and it's understandable. No, nothing's like, everything's just going to be a surprise during a pandemic year like this. So what were you guys' thoughts on the uh, three on the three games you guys played for the six-game season? Um, you know, I think we saw a lot of a lot of glimpses of what we could be. You know, I think also we saw some really good things, but we saw a lot more of, like, just what we need to correct. And that was just, you know, consistent through all three games from Southern Utah to UC Davis to Eastern Washington. It was just – we just saw a lot of what we need to work on. And this season I'm hoping to see more of, like – what we're good at you know yeah we had a lot of time to prepare but then again we didn't because because of the shutdowns and missing all missing our whole first camp getting shut down only having a week or two to prepare for the first game mm -hmm. not making any excuses but you know i just think with proper proper time to train and, and really get our bodies right through camp is just it will just be a completely different team you see this year yeah and the thing is like with people listening you know see fall season gets camp or when that came out in March of 2020, everyone's getting ready to go into a spring ball. That gets canceled. Mm -hmm. Everyone gets sent home. There's not really a secure off-season workout program. Summer workouts come around. Everyone gets in. And around that time, I think people still kind of thought the fall season was going to happen. We yeah. didn't know that yet. Then they announced the spring season. So then you guys go into camp, fall camp, in basically winter quarter in January. There was a big outbreak. You guys get shut down. Was it just the one big one, or was there a couple that like? Because I know some players got it, but then there was like position yeah. groups who started. Yeah, there it. was like uh, there was like two different uh, position breaks, groups. I feel like yeah, because yeah, like at first, like it was just like, um, like not very many people had it. Like it was an <coughs> outbreak in like the city, but not very many people on the team got it. Mm -hmm. So then uh, that had a, that led to a shutdown, and then we when we came back, I think it was like after winter break. Uh, we had another shutdown because there was an outbreak on the team and a whole bunch of people on the team got it yet. That's yeah. that's when we got shut down. Yeah. And that was like closer to season. That was close to your guys' first game. So you guys got shut down. You had to find a way to get everyone back. Finally, everyone gets back. You get a little bit of prep time. So there's even though you guys aren't going to make the excuses from the outside, it's really easy to see how hard it would have been to be as to be as prepared as you guys wanted to be. It was, it's so hard with especially what you guys had to go through, you and the team and the coaching staff. But, sorry, and I interrupted you. I wanted to, like, what are, you, what are your thoughts on the three games? Yeah, I definitely think there's a lot of, uh, like, stuff that we can learn from in the tape just from those three games. Mm -hmm. And, like, we did see glimpses of, uh, of how we can be successful and, like, when we run or when our team's firing, like, how good we can be. It's just we need to piece that together more. And then once we do that, then it should be great, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then final thing, um, with all this, you know, after going through this last year and a half, going through the COVID, fighting so hard for a season, getting to the season, having to opt out, doing just going through all this uh, adversity, what has it kind of left you guys with, with what you think is going to happen in the future? How has it impacted what, how you're going to go about your last uh, – season or two, whatever you guys have left, and the rest of your guys' time here at Cal Poly. Yeah, I mean, 
just speaking of just COVID and everything, I, I feel like we kind of got robbed of the season, you know. So mm-hmm. a lot of guys in my class were approaching our, our final year. I graduated in the fall. So I think Sue graduates in the fall too. Yeah. So, you know, we kind of we kind of missed out on the season. So, I mean, really just my main focus for this season is just make it up in this one season, you know, just have at least two seasons worth of, of good stuff in one season. We're going to try to jam-pack all that stuff we can into just 11, hopefully more games, you know. Right, and just – kind of feeling like with all that adversity and now when the stuff you guys are going to start summer workouts here pretty quickly yep. you just feel you kind of feel like things are going to it's going to just feel fresh it's going to feel like finally we're here it's, it's back to a little bit normalcy and, and now we can actually yeah. have it'll, that last season it'll be here and it'll be real like this is real football this time not not a spring season we'll be used to we're, we're playing where we, we should be playing in the fall having mm-hmm. a normal regimen going to fall camp in the summer so things will be back on track and it'll be more real. Absolutely, yeah. What about you? Um, so like you said, what were our, what are our thoughts about like this upcoming season? Kind of like just your thoughts on how going through all this stuff this last year and a half. Just what what's your mindset like going forward with football and even school? Like just your last time here, your last little bit here at Cal Poly. Um, I'm just like, I'm uh, I don't know. I just want to go out, you know, give it my all. I want to give it my all for, like, the team and, like, I don't know, just, yeah, I definitely feel like I missed out on, like, a year of football and school, so I'm going to try to make it up, like, in this next last time coming, like, the, uh, I'm going to just try to make it up in this next quarter I got. Sick. Awesome, man. And then, uh, yeah, I think that's good. Appreciate you guys' time, man. Yep.